All right, here we go, y'all. Power 7 Podcast. It's your boy, the almighty Nicky Demons in full effect. Good morning. Good morning. We back. So today's topic is going to be the police. Because I saw two things today in the news that just brought up feelings that I have about the police. And so these two topics that came up today were one incident happened in Mississippi, another incident happened in Texas, in Dallas. Now the incident that happened in Mississippi concerned a 10 year old boy, 10 year old boy was caught pissing outside while his mother was in a lawyer's office, the little boy went outside and took a piss. Uh, the little boy said because his sister told him there wasn't a bathroom inside the lawyer's office. So he went pee. He was caught by the police pissing behind his mother's car. The other incident in Texas, in Dallas, was a veteran who went to an establishment to use the bathroom. Um, he's a disabled veteran. He has some um, issues going on in his lower extremities, which I guess has issues with his um, with his with his bowels and with him having to use the bathroom. So he wanted to use the bathroom. He showed his disability paperwork that he had a problem. And the establishment and the police would not let this gentleman use the bathroom, which ended up causing him to use the bathroom on himself. And these police officers decided to laugh at him. Now, with the first incident with the little boy, they, the police officers, now multiple police officers pulled up on this young man, this young, this young guy. This little boy, not even a young man, this little boy. And they took him to jail, took him to youth court for peeing outside. But the mother was around. They were able to contact the mother, but they still took, they arrested the little boy and still took him to jail. Now, my thing is, when it comes to the police, there needs to be more... It should be some. It should be a more strict policy, or more more discernment, discernment about who they allow to be police. Now, with these two incidents, with the officers involved, the first one with the little boy, these officers they're going to get punished, and I think one of them was either fired or he quit. He didn't really set specify, but says he's no longer with the department and it's behind this incident. The other incident, they're doing an investigation on the officers involved who laughed at the guy and didn't let him inside, who didn't let them use the bathroom. Which, to me, if it's the department developed, the investigating the department, nothing's going to happen. It's always bullshit to me. But <clears throat> there needs to be more accountability held for police and there needs to be a, a stronger process on who is able to be the police because there's too many people that's able to be the police it shouldn't be that easy to be a cop that's too much responsibility that's too much authority to give to a person and most people are just average people and most average thinking people should not be cops they shouldn't have a gun they shouldn't have authority because they're not fucking they're not that intelligent. They're not wrapped that tight. Their emotional intelligence and emotional maturity are not strong enough to be police officers. They should, they should not be police officers. These guys should be uh, regular Joe Schmoes pushing a nine to five, maybe working at a warehouse, I don't know, Walmart, driving trucks or some shit. They shouldn't be police officers. You give somebody a gun, you give somebody a badge, 
and put the law on their side and put them in charge, they're going to run them up. So they need to they need to calm down on that. They need to just make it more strict. They need to go through a lot. The training should be longer. All, 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 all these cops, their time in the field should be shorter. Because I'm sure if what they say is true about the about these police, they get PTSD. So they need to be pulled out of the field if they're seeing that much and going through that much shit that they end up just looking at everybody as being fucked up. They need to be pulled back, you know, after six months, maybe a year. Like, they'll just put you in the office for a minute. Which still, police, being a police officer, man, is still kind of like a job like customer service. And if you're looking at something like customer service, man, that shit can sour you on people. Because nobody's happy to see the police. People are rarely in a good mood when they see the police. When you see the police, it ain't usually good. Either either they're there to take your time and your money, or they're there because you done lost something, and then they're just to, to fill out a report. Or, it's a, or if it's a domestic violence issue. And usually when it comes to an issue of violence or crime, the police show up after shit happens. They don't show up when the shit happens. It is rare these niggas show up when shit happens. They show up after the fact. So that type of job to me takes a special type of person. And if you don't have enough common sense or enough logic or enough empathy to make a judgment call like, hey, I'm not gonna take this kid to jail. I'm gonna let his mom know what he did because the mother was there. I'm gonna let her know what this kid did and go on about my business, give him a warning and move on. If you don't have that ability, or if you've lost that ability because the job has you that much jaded, you don't need to be doing that shit, bro. No if you don't have the ability to look at some paperwork and be like, you know what, I'm going to let this guy use the bathroom because he does have an issue. He's a veteran, which a lot of police officers are veterans. So it's surprising to me that these guys would be so fucking ignorant and so fucking stupid and hateful to not let the guy come in and use the bathroom and he's showing you hey I got a problem and you know let me use it I'm just not here on some bullshit and you still don't do it then you laugh about it yo man you shouldn't be a cop you shouldn't be a cop if you can't make a judgment call like that and that's not even a serious judgment call that you have to make because the man had paperwork man had paperwork and you still was like nah you still denied it and that's like I said and to be a veteran at that with the paperwork and you deny him now some people would say you know these cops that did this were racist because both individuals in both incidents were black the little boy is black the veteran is black some people might say it was race involved. Me, I'm going to leave that out of it because I don't believe all cops are racist, but I believe most cops are stupid. Stupid people. I'm not going to say all cops ain't racist. Some people become cops because they are racist and they do want to have the authority and be able to get away with fucking with black people or Mexicans or Indians or Asians, whatever the case may be. I definitely believe there are people that Become police officers to do that. I believe there's people that become police officers just so they can get a job. I believe that there's people that become police officers because, hey, they want to, you know, do the protect and serve song and dance. And that's fine. But when you have a, an organization who has something that says we have a blue wall of silence, meaning you're not going to snitch on the other cops, even if they're doing fucked up shit, there's something wrong. With that organization, there's something wrong with that organization if they have that. Because if you're a cop, you should be held to a higher standard. There should be more problems when you fuck up and make a mistake. Because of that responsibility and authority that you are appointed with, you should have a higher accountability. And you would think that the police would have enough integrity that they wouldn't even want people in their organization 
I didn't want to act outside of that integrity or outside of the law. They can make judgments calls to be assholes, but they can't make judgment calls to have empathy for people or understanding. Because I'm sure that cop that arrested that little boy and put him in a squad car and took him to jail to do that bullshit, I'm sure that cop and all those cops that showed up for it's for a 10 year old pissing. I'm sure all of those punk ass cops took a piss outside before. So let's not act like I'm holier than thou because I'm the police. Like you're fucking just such a good person because you're a cop because you're not. You're a fucking asshole. So I just think they need to have more of a strict outlook on who they are allowing to become police officers because everybody shouldn't be the police. They need to make that shit strict. They don't need to leave people in the field too long because these guys get jaded if they're not jaded already before they take the job. So, and then, I said, with those guys up there in Dallas that did that to that vet, are the veterans that are police officers in Dallas, are they going to check those cops? Because there are a lot of veterans that become cops, which they need to do serious shit on them because... If you come back from Iraq or Afghanistan and you've been over there, the way you police over there shouldn't be the way you police over here in America. And some of these guys I know come back and police America the same way they did the shit over there in Iraq. And this shit is fucked up. But, uh, you know, that's my, you know, that's my morning, my morning rant, you know, about the police. Um... Like I said, they need more of a strict policy on who becomes cops. They need to take these guys out the field, things of that nature. And I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen to those cops in Dallas because, I mean, come on, who are you kidding? The internal affairs, which means it's just the same. It's just cops investigating cops. That's a part of that department. It's not even an outside entity. So, you know, that's all I got to say today, this morning. It's a boy to all my nigga Davis. Power 7 Podcast. I'm out.